good afternoon everyone uh, this is market crux and uh, uh, welcome to you all um, i thought of creating a video today instead of uh, sending a lengthy message on telegram um, and topic is little off uh, we uh, usually talk about lot of trading and intraday specifically but then uh, today i would like to cover one aspect uh, which is basically a uh, can you go uh, now can you start shopping uh, for an uh, investment portfolio basically so how would you like to approach uh, the investment portfolio uh, and i would uh, share my personal opinion as of now uh, everyone must have heard about this bottom fishing thing and that is what uh, we keep on telling that there is an bottom fishing area where you should be uh, looking for adding a lot of stocks in your portfolio for longer term uh but what is the bottom uh, that is something which is not being covered anywhere so far and uh, that is what uh, we we really don't know what is the bottom for a crash and uh, we don't really want to go into that as well so there is a systematic approach which i am going to cover into this video which will help you to build your portfolio in a systematic manner uh, we would be uh, going for buying stocks in a pyramid structure and i am going to cover that pyramid structure as well and uh, definitely when to book your profits uh, that is also being covered this entire uh, video is considering that uh, we will be having a time frame horizon of 3 to 5 years basically for your investments uh, and then accordingly uh, you should be allocating your Uh, money to invest, uh, and then uh, make sure that you are capable to handle uh, these positions for at least three to three to five years from now on, for some uh, really good, remarkable rewards. Uh, when when you should be looking for investing is uh, one important aspect, and uh, uh, this uh, very old table you might have seen. Lot many of you might have seen this thing that when the market uh, pe is greater than 26 you should be going for a long vacation or holiday rather than uh, thinking about investing when it is between 26 to 23 uh, you should read books uh, over here read books means you should be reading about stocks fundamentals and identify some uh, really good fundamentally strong stocks uh, try to figure out uh, their valuations try to figure out if uh, they are available at the fair prices in their future growth prospectus and all those things uh, when uh, the pe falls below 23 and it's above 20 you should start investing cautiously uh, keep the market crash fund along with uh, your investment so make sure that a further fall might come and you should be having additional cash funds available to invest further when it comes to less than 20 and greater than 17 that is the area where you should be keep on investing if the pe uh, comes below 17 and uh, between uh, 17 to 15 you should increase the size of your investment and if it comes below 15 to uh, up to 20, 12 levels then you should even start thinking about uh, uh, taking money from your other investment avenues like fds and all and uh, invest in equities heavily uh, when you get a pe below 12 uh, you should be actually uh, looking to borrow take loan steal and uh, invest in equities because that is the area which is definitely definitely an area where everyone should start looking for investing in equities uh, let's look at the nifty pe uh, as of now uh, well let me just here i am okay so let's look at the nifty pe right now uh, and uh, from last 11 years plus uh, around around 12 years chart is over here uh, how did nifty moved and how the pe was uh, basically and if you see overall uh, almost only three instances in last uh, 12 years where we had pe below 16 which is uh, the most preferable areas where you should be investing in all these three instances if you see the historical information uh, nifty has given tremendous uh, uh, returns from those levels basically so this blue uh, line indicates the pe and then black line is how did uh, nifty price moved basically Uh, and uh, the the area where you should be uh, kind of asking to borrow or steal money and uh, invest is uh, below 20 which is uh, happened only once so that is basically once in a career long opportunity uh, that happened in 2009 and uh, i don't uh, see that is happening as of now because 
the overall economic situation is pretty strong uh, corrections are good uh, corrections are good for uh, investments and uh, that's what we are going to utilize as of now the nifty p is somewhere around 24.2 which is still on the first broad category where you should start looking for investing some money out of your overall tradable corpus so that is what we are going to do now i have created this very simple table to follow uh, along with some of the nifty levels where you should be looking to book uh, where you should be looking to enter into the stocks basically and uh, how systematically you can invest into the equities that is what is being uh, depicted over here into this table uh, this is what we are going to follow uh, i have taken 5 lakh as in sample capital uh, to invest and the time horizon from here uh, I would consider at least six to eight months and it can stretch up till 2019 elections general elections basically uh, so you should be uh, allocating your money accordingly uh, but that is what I would uh, prefer to invest for each correction so if you see this table has different slabs and I would allocate five percent of my overall tradable uh, overall investment corpus uh, which is uh, which comes to 25,000 rupees at current levels around 10,000 and uh, this is basically uh, allocation needs to be done in a diversified manner so you need to select five uh, top uh, anticipated performing uh, sectors so uh, as per your own analysis whatever sectors you feel that will be outperforming markets in next years three four five years from now uh, those are the sectors which you should be focusing it can be banking it can be um, automobile it can be aviation it can be um, any any other FMCGs or whatever you prefer basically uh, so it's completely your analysis I'm not going to recommend any sectors or any stocks today but uh, what you have to do is basically uh, five sectors you have to identify each uh, sector should have one a really good fundamental stocks stock identified and that is where you will be investing 5000 rupees so that that sums up to 25000 rupees you should start immediately with this approach as of now then i did uh, mention some uh, I, I have mentioned some of the levels over here which you should definitely look upon and these are basis on the chart of nifty so if you see over here i did publish this chart some time back on the pro trader pro, trader, pro traders channel uh, where I uh, told that this triangle is being formed and once this has a breakout below then you can look for some good profits basically so currently we are in almost 100 points profit uh, in nifty futures uh, basis on this chart uh, but then now we are actually talking about investing so this is the area where I would uh, definitely like to invest uh, my first uh, corpus of 5% uh, on the current levels and next if you see uh, that is 9900 level basically uh, 9920 to 9900 levels that is what we are referring over here so this has been proven as in like a resistance and support level earlier for quite many a time quite a many time and that is the area where nifty might come uh, take a pause and it can further go down or it can go upwards as well so we really don't know what we have to do over here is look at another 10 percent of my uh, investment capital which comes to 50,000 rupees five sectors one stock so 10,000 rupees each stock it can be the same stock which you have already invested in phase one it can be a different stock as well basis on your own analysis what I need is basically a diversified approach where you should not be concentrating all of your money on a single stock or a single sector basically so that's what you have to follow next level comes 94 uh, 9742 9700 which is again a proven area it was a resistance when uh, there was this uh, bull move happened it was a resistance then prices came down and then since then it is almost uh, twice has been tested this level as in support area so good strong support area for nifty technically and this is the area 9742 9700 i would allocate another 10 percent of my investment capital which is 50,000 rupees now this time i will be selecting two stocks from each sector so I am further diversifying basically so this way it will be 10 stocks 5000 rupees each stock that is how I am going to invest on these levels and then the next level comes 9500 to 9450 which is again a little broader area but if you see uh, it was uh, proven as in resistance 
uh, then it has got broken then there was an consolidation happened into this area then it was tested as a support as well once so this is the next level where i would uh, expect that nifty might come and take a pause and this is the area i would go for my next level of shopping uh, good stocks which is again a 20 percent allocation of my tradable um, sorry my investment capital which is 1 lakh 25 thousand rupees i would allocate five sectors two stocks total 10 stocks 12500 each stock i would like to allocate at these levels and last but not least uh, are the levels of 9000 to 9960 which i feel that this was a gap over here which nifty might at some point of time come to fill uh, again this level has been tested as in resistance as well as support once and i would expect uh, in the worst case scenario the nifty can come to these levels and uh, would take a support and reverse from here it is a very very healthy almost 20 percent correction from the current levels and uh, beyond 20 percent correction i do not expect uh, anywhere uh, that is going to happen because we don't have any um, big concerning factors be it economy or be it uh, political goc situations basically so uh, this is the last level a last leg where I would go uh, with my full force remaining 30% of my investor uh, investing capital which is one lakh fifty thousand rupees again 3% allocation in each uh, stock uh, 10 stocks uh, 5 sectors total one lakh fifty thousand rupees so 15,000 rupees per stock that is what I am going to allocate over here this is how I am going to invest basically now when it comes to booking your profits uh, you should have a partial profit booking approach as well uh, all these levels over here are the support levels uh, nifty might take a support over here and then reverse and when uh, it is going to reverse it uh, uh, the upper levels or upper uh, areas uh, marked over here will be treated as next immediate resistances so let's take an example that around uh, 9450 you have invested and uh, nifty takes a u-turn uh, it reaches to 9700 uh, approximately uh, 250 points up from your uh, uh, level uh, level 3 shopping basically then at this point of time you should uh, look for booking some profits from your investments although i am telling about uh, three to five years horizon and all those things but then uh, we need to be little dynamic to maximize our profits whenever there is a uh, correction happening and there is a support zone uh, being reached we should be investing and whenever there is a uh, resistance being reached we should look for booking some profits so that is what we need to follow uh, you also need to keep on checking fundamentals and technical changes into the stocks uh, in which you have invested already so if there are any fundamentals being like kind of shaken or uh, you got some issues with the fundamentals uh, then also you need to kind of look for exits from those stocks and if there are any uh, big technical concerns like all most critical supports are being breached and uh, stock for uh, prices keep on following uh, falling and it's not being uh, kind of taking any supports along with uh, the markets then also you need to think of exiting from those stocks and look entry for some other fairly valued stocks basically uh, so this is the approach which i am going to follow hope that uh, you might have liked this uh, please post your comments into the comments section and uh, of course you can suggest other areas where you would like to have some videos in coming days then definitely you can also suggest uh, i would also request you to like the video and uh, leave your feedbacks thank you all